もうちょっとキスをしたのでねまだだよね初めてのアイテムはちょうどではない What the fuck? What the fuck is this? That is not funny. That is not, there's nothing. To do it with number 60, bringing back the aim in. This would be such a shock. Uh, he does go for it, and this is the touch card in Lucas Deck, the psychic life transfer. <laughs> what a turnaround. You can see Vlad is reading. Uh, and the handshake comes down, so the crowd just goes crazy. What a game. And now we're here with a deck profile. And actually, I'm here with Dennis, and Dennis is going to talk a bit about the Rikar San Avalon deck. So uh, let's get into it. Let's. Talk about the first card we have here. Oh, he has the Dark Ruler no wow. more. Okay. Okay. And that goes through. Um. Whoa, Whoa! What a start! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he has the Arpis Feather Dust. <laughs> what a start! <laughs> wow. Wow, and he gets rid of Super Polymerization Impermanence. What a start from his opponent. Insane, insane stuff, and he gets the Mystic Mine even, wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's a national champion for a reason, I guess, yeah. I think he's just passed, wow. yeah. Wow, Ooh. so now play is back to Alvaro, and we want to see the deck in action, for sure, I'm excited for it. And we do see the Mystic Mine, wow. And. I don't know, maybe set two cards? Yeah. Yes, exactly. exactly. Carlos cannot even use its effect anymore because it was being used previously that turn. Oh, he so has he evenly. Just wanted to have like one Telemans monster and, on the board. And he also has rivalry in hand, so the chances for Klaus to come back to this are pretty small. Not really? gonna lie. Marcus yeah. actually kept the rivalry in. That's yeah, insane. It makes so much sense because the board doesn't put up spell trap negates. You can just wait for your opponent's turn again and then flip the rivalry. What is he gonna do? Yeah, you're right. Does he already have the little princess in the GY that negates a card? Nope. He only has a Patel, which looks quite similar to the princess, but it's not. And there it comes. Oh, yeah, of right. Of course. Once you print uh, tribute this Rika Exceeds monster, which I will get up in Strenna, just yeah. a second. Good old He's going to his deck. He's actually activating the Mystic Mines. Rock instantly and... Oh, Foxy oh he drew into Foxy Tune. This card is the Shiren wow. even. This is really big for Luigi there. Trout is going wild. Trout is loving it. Oh, and the, the judge is looking at, at his phone. This is... Yeah, he's grabbing the timeout thingy. And, wow. and there it is, There's it is time, on, time the on the round, and I think this means that Kian Shabazi is actually going to be able to Both take this. Are they have, they the are judge. a little bit confused, but Kian is, is nodding his hat. I think Kian is realizing what that means. I think that does absolutely mean that Kian Shabazi is going to be the winner of this. And plant monsters, you're right. So there is normal summon of Silketus. Adam actually now going into his Altergeist engine and he's activating Mystic Mind right, right, right next to it. So he actually wants to resolve the next copy of it and therefore even summons a monster himself. Look at look at Goagi. His cheeky smile there. You can already look at his hand. You can see <laughs> rivalry, you can see Gozen match, and you can see skill drain and strike, so. <laughs> this is not going to be the best time for Callum, and honestly, Callum, you gotta admit, this guy has swag. Welcome to the European Championships. That's something we cannot yeah. take away from him. So Rika was yeah. actually uh, first of the Swiss, and we're in the turn of last, and he starts it off with the Lava Golem, and the crowd is cheering him on. That's the thing, like, a uh, deck that is built to go second. Like when it was Sky Striker, the consistency is there. When it's Sprite, uh, it might be a little risky, but this is the play that we were considering. Erman is also using the card, and this is one of the strategies that uh, allowed Joshua to even enter this top. 
Maybe something on result from Georgi. Yep, he's thinking about it. There is the Gozen match. Yep, he has something. And there is a red reboot. You if he has reboot, he has reboot. You and, and now I he's were talking already... about. This is insane. Oh, because boy. He goes instead for the Marionetta right away. And uh, he's going to give Ryan a chance to activate uh, the Todali, I think. And, and it uh, does. Yeah. Interesting. So Ryan uh, gets punished heavily here by the Mystic Mine. And now it's not going to be easy for Ryan because, as we said, he has the. I mean, he must have. Eh, Ooh, his. and the Feather Duster! And the Southland. That was a quick one, yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a way. Yeah, we were just <laughs> saying that Tarpy's Feather Duster was the guard to go for. But feather the Duster judgment. from the top, but Solemn Judgment to stop it. Uh, Ooh, the last card was uh, the Beaver, so Beaver. what a end. Yeah, that's ma that makes a huge difference. Because yeah. uh, that makes the enemy controller just so much better. And yeah, you can wow. see it here. Yeah. He gets to use enemy controller. What an opening, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, but Ooh. this is a huge one. He does get one of the others, and rivalry, though, gets flipped. Uh, interesting. Definitely considering it, taking a look at his other end shops. Uh, yes, the impermanence. Uh, does he have the faker? Wow! Wow! This is a <laughs> what a wow. what a champ. And there is the terraforming, and we do know which yeah. that could result in. <laughs> and Z is saying yes, you are able to resolve the terraforming and there we see it, Mystic Mine hitting the hand of uh, Lars Junginger here. When the mine is very, very mystic. Indeed. Yeah, this is not where the terraforming goes, by the way. <laughs> Does not look nope. correct. Nope. This is, yep. Thank you, Judge. Very, very yes, good. Yes, applause oh, from the crowd. Thank you the very crowd much. The loves it. <laughs> the crowd is going mythical here. <laughs> opponent normal summons Melosy. Oh, there's he the... To. Oh, he discarded oh. the Galaxy Cyclone! For the Super Polling Race, there actually, it of is. course! It was hard drawn and not in the back row and rather in his hand. And it was a discard for Super Polling, but there is another Meloverse! Meloverse wow. for Mystic Mind number two and the and Scoop! And scoops it. This is insane. The crowd just loves it. The mine is very mystic. Lars wouldn't care because I don't think he's even playing. Jack oh, Willow, but and he got the Mystic the Mine! The Mystic Mine was stolen! The time PP doer steals the Mystic Mine. So it's underneath it and that's one last Mystic Mine to worry about for Zeal here. So standby phase, time thief, redoer effect. Does he hit the trap? Would be huge for him here. It would be absolutely But there's amazing. Metaverse already! My he has God, Metaverse the again! Is metaverse, the one-off Metaverse, and Zio is looking not too happy about it. Okay, so he's drawing two cards now. Does he find the Harpy's Feather Duster, or did he banish it? Yeah, but I mean, it's understandable, because if you give Lars and his Aldergeist strategy yeah. time, it will go into his direction yeah. by nature, because if he's able to set up... Harpy's he Feather Duster! Harpy's Feather he Duster. actually drew and it off of the design. Once again, Judgment was activated, protecting the Mystic here. Mine. The old man says no again to Mystic... Uh, to the Harpy's Feather Duster. Who's that Pokémon? Zero defense points. It's Shifter! Shifter, it's Shifter has a little bit Shifter. more than Faker! Faker into Shifter and he's attacking, so it is actually going downwards for the life points of Zio. This is a classic game of Yu-Gi-Oh! We're playing beat down Yu-Gi-Oh! here. How big is Shifter though? I don't think it's that big. Looks like it's not big enough, so Zio actually in such an iconic game here is ha. taking the upper hand because Lars has no a monsters anymore. A little bit of chip damage goes a long way. When you're considering timeout and last scoops, this looked impossible to win for Zio Mundri, but he just took it with the good old Tillemans beatdown strategy. And it has rivalry. Wow, but rivalry is there. Wow. He has the rivalry. Um, he plays three copies of the car in the main deck, which is very powerful. Um. Wow, and play is back to Marcus, and now. A deck Ooh. devastation virus actually comes into play, but he has uh, the unexpected die. Wow. And the rivalry once again. My, we might have a quick one on our ends. The is unexpected it, uh... die is so strong. Now we enter battle phase. Is there a response? There is the handshake.
I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm having a lot of fun with the uh, with the webcam duels.